Hey guys, you know I had a few people that have commented on my raised bed here, my grape arbor, and they're they're wondering if I could do a video on how I built it. Well, okay, I'm I'm not going to disassemble it <laughs> and put it back together, and I don't plan on building another one anytime soon. So the only thing that I could do with this is I can give you a walk around with the camera and show you what I did and how I did it. I'm not saying that this is the right way to do it, but this is just the way that I came up with how to do one. And uh, you just kind of take the way that I did it and then just you, you kind of mold it to your own needs and whatnot. So for what it's worth, this is just my, my cheap throw together arbor. So, all right. Okay, so now first off, I should mention that I built these these beds to accommodate my grapevines. Now, there I've got three grapevines there, and I have three over there on that side. And what they're going to do, I, I planted those two years ago, and they're going to they're going to climb up the trellis and then over. So, the reason why these are so deep, there's three reasons why these beds are so deep. The biggest reason is because of my grapes, and I know that grapes need lots of room for the roots to grow. So this is about three feet here, and then they're going to go down and they're going to hit the ground and probably grow another three feet. I mean, grapevines are, are known to, to grow really deep roots. And then the second reason is it's because it's easier for me to be able to weed it and to get to the plants and be able to harvest them. That's because I don't have to get down on my knees or whatever. And then the third reason is, um, let me back up a little bit. <clears throat> wow, I really should weed whack that, shouldn't I? Um, the, this here is, is nine feet tall, and I needed to put this kind of like proportionately, uh, I guess it would be aesthetic, because the, the thing is if, if these beds were really short, it would look really weird because I had short beds and then a tall grape arbor. So I wanted to make that about three feet because it, it, it kind of looks better proportionately. So there's the three reasons why. Now on, on the, the post itself, these are, I used eight foot, everything on this bed, everything on the whole grape arbor and all the beds are all made out of cedar. Um, and I, what I did was I used four by four posts. Now I used eight foot four by four posts and I sunk these into the ground three feet. I did not cement them though um, because I want to be able to, if I wanted to tear this thing down, who knows, 20 years from now I might want to yank it out and do something else with this. I don't want to have to big, dig out a, a huge three foot chunk of cement so that's why I did that. And it's cedar, I mean I, this thing is going to outlast me as far as I'm concerned. So anyways I sunk it in the ground three feet, it's got three feet standing up and then I just lopped off the other two feet on the top of the eight foot post. So I've got four of those, and this bed here is eight feet. So I, I took a pretty long span. So this is a, there's four foot span between each post. I know that's quite a long span, but it, it seems to do just fine. Now over there, the span on those, that is a 12 foot bed, and the span is only three feet between four by four posts. So, um, and then the bed itself is, is uh, four, foot, four foot wide, or deep, whichever way you're standing. <laughs> Now on the side pieces, what I did was I went and I, I, I scored a really good deal on this is this is fencing, and I got them in six foot pieces. So that's why I went I I I went with the I started this bed over here, and I went with six foot pieces because those fit perfectly six feet to the th three foot and the three foot section, and then it, it ends there, and then it goes another six feet that way. So those I used the full six feet six foot pieces, so that's a twelve foot run, and then over here. This is a three foot run, or four foot run, and then I just cut off two feet off of that. So, so anyways, um, they're, they're just regular, they're just fencing, and I got them really cheap, so they, they, work, they work great. Now, one thing that I did on this side, I went and I put this kind of rail on here, and then I cut a few pieces here that I wanted to, I don't know, I, want, I tried to make it look fancy, but anyways, and then I nailed them to this, and it looks, it looks nice, it works great, but the problem is, is that it, whenever I try to lean into it and, and whatnot, this, this kind of catches me, and it's, it, it just, it's in the way. So I opted on this side not to do that, and of course that side does look a lot nicer, <clears throat> but this, this side here, I don't care. It's, I'm not worried about aesthetics. To me, it's functionality, so I'm more concerned about how it, how it operates. And, the, and then, okay, now on the, the, the posts here for the arbor, what I did was I, I put, I used 12 foot 4x4 four four cedar, and I sunk it into the ground 3 feet, and then I've got 9 feet sticking up here to the top of the arbor. Okay, and then the center section here is exactly 6 feet wide, 
and then I've got my lattice here attached to what I did was I, I kind of dressed this up a little bit I, I took some 1x4 cedar and, and put some 1x4 on here just to kind of make it look a little bit nicer because the 4x4 cedar is it looks kind of rough and this is more this was more finished and so it looks a little bit nicer you don't have to do that and then I went and got four by eight sheets of lattice which fit perfectly on here because this is four feet wide and then it's eight feet to the bottom of that two by six okay now for the upper piece what I did was I took and I ran four two by sixes I put two on this side and two on that side on each side of the four by fours and then I, I beveled them right there to kind of let the rain kind of the rain will drip off it you know and it looks a lot nicer that way too so I guess I don't know if you have to bevel them but I guess it looks a lot nicer anyways and then I secured it with four bolts two bolts here and then two bolts down on that side and then the same over here two and two here and then I took two uh, took four more eight foot two by sixes and I beveled them also you'll see I did that there and then I ran four across here like that and then I toenailed them into the the two by six is running this way and into the four by four that way and then on, for the very top I went and I took uh, I cut from the the fencing I had I just ripped one by ones and just ran them across as kind of you know for looks and also for the for the grapes to kind of come up over it doesn't need a lot of of, of like heavy-duty wood but I, I believe what I did wrong with this is that I think that they're too small because you'll notice they started to warp now either they were too small or what I didn't do what I should have done was run one of them across the edge here to kind of secure them all together but that's as far as they warped and they haven't gone any farther so you know what I'm not gonna worry about it it looks fine to me but if I was to do it again I'd probably go with like two by two on that so um, I think that's about it I I, uh, I mean it's it's a really simple thing I really wish I would have taken video of me and my son putting this together but we ran this whole thing off we started early in the morning and we were done with this before dark and that was one of the beauties of not having to cement the post because uh, we didn't um, we didn't have to wait for the cement to dry so anyways uh, there it is and, and oh now the total cost I should mention the total cost I don't I didn't have the, the the paperwork because I did this two years ago but I the last time I was at the hardware store I kind of I looked at the prices and I'm and I'm estimating this cost me between two and two fifty, two hundred to two hundred fifty dollars to build, and which really isn't too bad. Now that's not including the dirt. <laughs> the dirt, most of that dirt is actually my own compost that I put in there. But um, if you're gonna if you're gonna build these and you're gonna fill these, that's quite a bit of dirt. That's I don't know how many cubic feet that is, but that's a, I'd have to figure that out in my head. But that's a lot. That's a lot of dirt. But anyways, you don't have to build them this big. But, and like I said before, this is, I'm not saying this is the right way to do it. This is just the way that I did it. So I'm not telling you to build it this way, but people just kept asking me all the time. They just kept asking, hey, how did you build the, your grape arbor with your raised bed? So anyways, that's how I did it. And I really appreciate you guys asking. And I welcome any comments or even constructive criticism if you have any ideas how, how I can improve this or make any modifications to it. But anyways, there it is. There's my grape arbor with my attached raised beds. So, all right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. We'll catch you all later. Be sure to stop over to GrowYourHeirlooms.com where we have podcasts, gardening Q&A, tips on year-round gardening, survival gardening, and current projects that are going on.